cut the cord. Is it now time to say goodbye to the mouse wire in 2019? Well, today's tech flow video is hopefully going to answer that. <laughs> So the Logitech G502 was released a long, 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 long time ago, and since then it's been the top end of gaming mice. So Logitech knew this and they wanted to make it better, and they thought, how could we make it better? Well, they've now made this little bad boy, the G502 Lightspeed. It's the G502, except it's a little bit lighter, and there's also no cables, and it can also charge wirelessly. And then there's this PowerPlay mat to go along with it. And we'll tell you guys how these two things can link together to make an awesome gaming experience. So what we'll go ahead and do is set the power play off to one side for now. That is a really key ingredient to this entire setup. More on that later. And we'll focus on Logitech's brand new baby for now. Light speed pretty much means wireless, and then it has the hero sensor, it has power play, which essentially means it can charge wirelessly with this mouse mat, more on that later. Light sync, 16.8 million colors on this bad boy, and then you can actually weight this mouse. You can change the weight of it by adding or subtracting weights to how you would like it, which is wicked. And then it also has the hyper fast scroll wheel. Now, there's a few reasons as to why people are going to absolutely love this mouse, starting with the sensor, 16,000 DPI. And it also has zero smoothing, which pretty much means a one-to-one -one tracking, no matter how fast you're flinging the mouse across your mouse mat or table. So with all of the weights added onto this mouse, you can actually get her up to 130 grams, but that's not the selling point of this. A lot of people like the G502, but some people thought it was a little bit heavy coming in at 120 grams. This, without the weights, comes in 7 grams lighter at 114, which doesn't seem like a huge decrease. However, without the drag of a cable, yeah, this thing's light. It comes with this lovely little carry case, which then inside houses the extra weights and the USB receiver if you need it. It comes with a braided micro USB cable in the box. Now the micro USB port on this mouse is recessed quite back behind some plastic, so don't lose this because another micro USB cable might not fit. You also get some stickies and some documentation, which we don't really need. Now on the inside of this mouse, it's completely different to the original G502, despite on the outside it looking pretty much identical. And that is kind of interesting, because inside of here, well, they've made it lighter, like I've said, but they've also housed a battery and a wireless card, which is a lot of tech for the fact that they've made this thing lighter. Like, how? Upon first usage of this mouse, I'm finding that the sniper button on the left-hand side of the mouse is a little bit far towards the front for my liking. I only have small hands, so your results may vary. But I love the feel of this mouse. It genuinely feels gorgeous to use. I can't wait to start using this at my setup at home, as to which, by the way, I will be. And it's also nice to see the scroll wheel carried across. Again, I am a massive Logitech MX Master user, and they have this exact mechanism by, with a button click, you can make the scroll wheel do a nice little spin, or you can make it click. I absolutely love that. It's the small things in a mouse that go the long way, because, well, it's a mouse at the end of the day, isn't it? So with none of the LEDs turned on on this mouse, you can expect around 60 hours of usage with its internal battery. But if you go ahead and turn on the lights, that then goes down to around 45 to 50 hours, which is quite funny. The LEDs on this mouse are actually the biggest power consumer. And by the way, don't think you need to have the power play mat to have an awesome experience with this mouse because Five minutes of charging over USB 2.0 gives this thing a substantial amount of battery, enough for a couple of gaming sessions. If you plugged it in between a session, you'd be fine without the power play. Now this mouse mat retails for $109.99, but it is pretty special for that price. Included is a few things, Logitech's power play, light speed, and also two surfaces. You can have a hard surface or a cloth surface, depending on what you fancy. Now power play essentially means that as long as the mouse is on the mouse mat, whether you're using it or not, 
it's charging. So your wireless mouse now never needs a battery change. This has the light speed receiver built into the mouse mat. So there's literally no messing about. That is it. The mouse mat connects the mouse to the computer and also charges it. This is really an all-in-one solution for a pro gamer. Look at that. I love it. Keep playing. Just keep going. It's always charged. So right on top, I believe we have our first of two matte surfaces for this mouse mat. I have a little bit of a hunch that this one is our, yep, yeah, that's our hard surface and it feels pretty premium. Yeah, very nice. However, I am a sucker for a soft surface mouse mat, so I'll be using the soft surface that is included here. And here we go. This is it. This is absolutely insane. Okay, so essentially you have the mouse mat here, and this is like a rubber surface. I assume this is where all of the tech for the wireless charging is housed. And then what you can go ahead and do is take either one of your surfaces, whether you prefer the softer surface or the harder surface, and simply place it on top of here. Voila. And now there's a few more steps to complete this setup. All you need to do is take this, yes, proprietary, again, micro USB cable, plug it into the back of the unit. Give me life. Now this is the Logitech Puck, which hides all the wireless charging stuff on the mouse end of things. And it's a magnetic disc that is gonna fit in the bottom of here, like that. Now we're charging, simple. Genuinely feels a little bit weird, the fact that my mouse is completely wireless, but I just know that it's in my hand and it's charging. Completely, undoubtedly, you are going to see a lot of companies that are gonna be following suit with this tech. Like, this is, this is game changing for the wireless mouse industry. Actually, I will try whilst I'm here the hard surface. Maybe I'll be a convert, who knows? Oh, you know what, it's tough. I prefer, I prefer the non-sound of the softer surface though. Ah, there we go. So it's super, super simple to hot swap the weights on this mouse. You literally lift up the bottom and this entire plate comes off, leaving you some space around here to install all of the weights. I'm gonna put a couple of four grams in here. Instantly, instantly that's made a massive difference. That is so much heavier. If you guys are wanting to get your hands on one of these, then Logitech are doing loads of competitions all over their social medias by you guys sending in a picture of your current mouse setup at the moment. So there you go. That's something for you guys to bear in mind. I'll drop some links down there in the description if you want to get involved. But for now, I want to get involved in this, which means I need to go and play a few games to give you guys my verdict. Buzzing. Which leads me into what do I actually think of it. Now this mouse is a perfect example of technological evolution. A mouse, tech that can't really get better only in small little ways like making it wireless and making it charge wirelessly. We've seen this with phones more so recently. It's how can we get a bigger screen without a notch, with a notch, with a pop-up camera. Logitech, well this is their way of making a mouse for 2019 that has no cables and that you don't need to charge. Because to be honest, what else does a mouse really need to do other than feel nice, be weighted if you want it to and have macros on it in the places that you want them. It needs to feel right for you. It's a really subjective thing. And it's the smaller things as well that I find really interesting, but most people would overlook. The fact that the wireless dongle for this mouse, if you couple it with the mouse mat, isn't all the way through your wooden desk or over the other side of your desk through your monitors in the back of the computer. It's actually built into the mouse mat. So the amount of distance the wireless signal actually has to travel is about that far to the edge of the mouse mat. As far as the battery life is concerned, I was monitoring that throughout my entire week's usage in the Logitech G Suite. And when I got this mouse, it was around 70% and it charged it in the first night up to about 90. And then it's hovered around 90% since then. And then that moves us on to the software, which I actually found really feature packed. I had a good time setting up my four different DPI stages, which I have set to this button here, so pressing this one will cycle through all of my DPI stages. Obviously you can set those up to what you would like. I even went in and customized the lights. You can do things like have it change to music, but I just have it cycling through all the colors really slowly. I don't like it flashing and doing crazy things. And then other than that, it's just macros galore. You can change any of the macros on here to do absolutely anything and even remap any of the buttons to do absolutely anything. I mean, you would expect that through a mouse that is this expensive. It has 
every customization option on it. Normal mice that I've been using over the past four to five years of my life have all been wired because, well, case closed, wire is always better or has always been up until now. I think you will be really, really hard pressed to find a wired mouse that will perform better than this counterpart here. And if you can, well, this has the fact that it doesn't have a wire playing for it anyway, so it's gonna be the overall winner. I love this thing, and it's going in my setup at home, and that closes out this review. So guys, it is really, really refreshing to say that the world's best gaming mouse, the Logitech G502, is now here in wireless. And I was a huge fan of the G502 anyway, so this is the cream of the crop. And I'm so happy it's here. But for now, my name's been Alex, this has been Techflow, and we'll see you in the next one. Adios.